Time to take a look at the markets. Uh, and uh, joining us, Melissa Armo, who is the CEO of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, welcome to the show. And uh, I guess since this is the first time we're talking with you, give us a sense of, of where you think the economy and the markets are right now going through 2020. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. I think the market's very, very strong. We started out at very strong in January. We made brand new all-time highs in the market yesterday, even though we're down a little bit this morning because of the virus scares. Honestly, the market and the economy have been so strong to start the year. Tesla shares pulling back after the news of that common stock offering. So I guess that puts a little uncertainty finally on the bottom line of Tesla for the first time in a while. Well, I think even if even though it's down today slightly as well, when you look at the, the move that the stock had after the earnings, again, this is the end of January into the beginning of February, that was, I've never seen a move like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. It went from 600 to 968 in less than a week. So I, I think if it falls off a little bit for whatever reason, the common stock offering, I don't think it's a big deal. In fact, right now the stock is rallying since the gap down this morning. I think on the next earnings theme, uh, what effect takes place with doing this, which is going to be April 22nd. So we have a, we have a couple of months to go, but I think that a thousand number is still out there for this stock, and they just want the financial backing uh, to be more solid. And I don't think that's a bad thing. So when you throw numbers around like that, then I'll I'll counter with: Are you starting to think about Dow 30k and and Nasdaq 10k? Well, okay, let's look at the Dow. I think the only possible drag that could happen on the Dow is Boeing because there's still some issues going on with that stock, and that's such a big component of the Dow. Remember, there's only 30 stocks in the Dow. But uh, let me just pull this up here right now and look at this chart. Now, I look at the Diamonds, which is the ETF for the Dow, but we made brand-new all-time highs on that yesterday. We did not get to that 30,000 number, but we got just shy of it. So do I think that that's possible? Yes. I can't tell you the exact second, but I will say Apple, which is a leading component in the Dow and also in the QQQs, which is another market in this that I watch, um, is nearing the highs. And since the earnings on Apple, it didn't really explode. I'm expecting that to happen sometime soon. Now, remember, Apple closed some of the stores in China because of the virus. When, if they reopen their stores, they were set to do it Monday. Then they pushed it back. It could be next week if they do. That's probably going to create a lift in the stock, and I think that that Apple goes to 330. And, again, that's going to lift the market up, and then we could see these big numbers that everybody's watching in the Dow. So is the pullback today on Wall Street tied to those uh, change of numbers, uh, coronavirus, and how China kind of tweaked their their methodology in terms of collecting all of the potential cases? I think think that the, the market sold off late last night because of the virus concerns that there's more cases. And the World Health Organization also came out. They're concerned about some mutations. So all of that isn't good. Then there was the case that happened in California where where there was a testing issue and somebody was released and they really had were infected. So I think there's a lot of things going on right now which have to do with fear. When there's fear, when people are scared, they tend to sell. So they sell first, ask questions later. And so that's what you saw last night and that's what you saw this morning with the selling in the market. But I've got to say, 10.16 10.16 in the morning, right now, we're not, we're holding on. I mean, we're yeah. still not that far off the highs. The market is not reacting panicky today on the live day. We did in the morning early and we did last night late, but the market's trying to hang on to these gains. I wanted to end up talking to you about a company in my industry in general, uh, McClatchy Newspapers. Obviously, the newspaper industry and the media industry going through quite a lot of shifts right now. But for McClatchy, they filed for bankruptcy. Maybe not necessarily a surprise with what has been going on in that part of the media world. It's not a surprise. And, and they're using the bankruptcy should be used for, for reasons that make sense. And I think that's why they've decided to do it. I think financially it makes sense for them to do it. It's the last resort option. The stock is barely even moves anymore. I mean, it's under a buck. It's like 70 some cents. But I think the problem is that people don't want to pay anymore to buy newspapers. And it's unfortunate. I think it has to do with the age group of the people now that are getting all their news from social media. People are getting their news from Instagram even. And you say, well, that's just a picture post and like one sentence. I think as far as the industry itself, like what you're talking about, it's sad because real reporters, real writers, real investigative journalists are the people that work for papers. 
and like this paper. And that is going by the wayside. People that write a one sentence blurb that goes on Instagram are not what I consider real reporters. And it's sad because people are getting misinformation. And part of that is the lack of real journalism that's happening because of the way that people don't want to pay for news when they can get it online for free. It's a story we've been talking about a lot the last couple of years, Melissa. Thanks very much for your yeah. time today. All the best. Thanks. Melissa Armo, CEO of the Stock Swoosh. Having backdoor access to smart